the Imperial Navy. The war cannot, must not, continue like this. If we do not act boldly, if we do not strike with full faith in the Emperor, the Gothic sector will be bled dry within a handful of years. We will have lost this entire region of space to the invaders. That will not happen while I still live. Lord Admiral, the enemy may possess the initiative for now, but I will do whatever it takes to counter Abaddon's plans. We will restore the light of the Emperor to the Gothic Sector. You must strike a decisive blow, Spire. Not only will you eliminate some enemy vessels, but you will send a message to the Chaos Forces and the Imperium's defenders alike. You will tell them that the Imperium is not going to give up without a fight. Abaddon has made us react to his moves. For too long, the Imperial Navy has been on the defensive. Now it is time to attack. The fleet would follow you into the Eye of Terror itself. No need to travel that far, Admiral Spire. The Chaos Fleet is scattered throughout the Gothic Sector, and that is exactly how we will defeat them. I see. Together the heretics outnumber any force we can bring to bear. But we have a chance to pounce upon isolated enemy fleets and pick them off one by one. I will take command personally aboard the battleship Divine Right. From there, I will assemble all the fleets into one unstoppable assault force. This is going to be a dangerous operation. We will be leaving entire systems, trade routes and battle stations virtually undefended. It's the only way, Lord Admiral. This operation could completely change the balance of this war. The Emperor is with us, and we will not fail. Very good, Spire. You have your orders. Prepare your ships for the battle to come. Scout vessels reported a massive chaos force heading towards the Gethsemane system. I ordered my vessels to get underway with all possible speed and entered pursuit. As we followed them, however, we discovered another chaos fleet converging on us. It was a trap. Admiral, your orders are to regroup with my force. Another chaos fleet has been sighted converging on the Gethsemane system. My assault force is hidden using the cover of several dust clouds to avoid detection. With your help, we plan to ambush the Chaos Fleet orbiting Gethsemane II. Fleet Commanders, report your status. The Flame of Purity is ready for battle. The Lightbringer is prepared to fight, Lord Admiral. My battle group is operational and ready to engage. Today, the Emperor is watching us. Today, we will show the Imperium that the Imperial Navy never falters in the path of its duty. We are the rulers of the stars, and each of your ships is a vengeful sword that can cut off the despoiler's head. Into the jaws of death. Into the mouth of hell. Hello everyone, and welcome to the 34th lore play of Battlefield Gothic Armada for from 2016. Yes, Admiral. Now we will see the canon version of the Battle of Gethsemane with the Elder Allies. Yes, Admiral. As I said in the previous part, was that at the front of the Imperial Navy was Cornelius von Ravensburg, Your commander orders. of the Divine Right. Following the victory at Gethsemane, the Warp Storm would finally lift from the sector and they are finally reinforced by several Adeptus Astartes chapters for starters. But Abaddon wasn't beaten yet. At with three command. Blackstone fortresses in his hand, he attacked Tarantis with pure Awaiting energy orders. of the Materium, which made the star go supernova and take out the entire sector. Abaddon was making his way towards Sindelgeist, At your command. where the fifth Blackstone fortress was located. Admiral Spire Enemy managed to break the planet sighted. killer, forcing it to retreat. Since we now have Eldar allies at our support, Ship I want ready. to talk a little bit more about them. For almost sighted. the entirety of the Gothic War, Eldar fleets were composed mostly of Engaging. escort ships accompanied by a few cruisers. However, Lord. after the Battle of Gethsemane and the alliance Damage of many teams. of the Eldar pirate fleets with now. Lord Raymond, Raymondsburg, a new terror was to hunt across the stars. The Void Stalker is the pinnacle of Eldar stellar yes, technology, Admiral. combining strong armament with high speed and maneuverability. 
the match of any ship in the Gothic sector and beyond. The Bright Star, which was later found out to be the flagship of the, of the Executioner's Corsair Band, was first sighted leaving the area Your near orders. the Grail Dark Nebula, but was uh, seen shortly after, Your orders. with an attendant number of escorts and cruisers, Execute high energy turn. wiping out a raiding fleet across the Gothic sector in, in the Lysades subsector. The Bright Star was uh, instrumental in lifting the Lehe blockade, destroying the Grand Cruiser Unstoppable Rage and several escorts, and crippling two Chaos cruisers. It is claimed by the Elder that before, during and after the Gothic War, the Bright Star has never been defeated in battle. Another noted Void Stalker in the Imperial Records is the Silent Enigma. It had been on one occasion during a lonely raid on an Imperial convoy in the Talera sector. Years later the Silent Enigma, this time leading a small Corsair fleet, entered Imperial space a second time. The Corsairs engaged a local Imperial fleet twice and raided an outpost before leaving the sector. Its mission and purpose still remains unknown to the Imperials. So yeah, so that's more or less everything Ship I had ready. about the Battle of Gethsemane. And now we're finished with this chapter of the war and we're gonna go on and soon we're gonna near our end goal during the Gothic War. So see you around everybody. Bye bye. I took him out. Admiral Spire, we have detected significant chaos reinforcements behind the planet of Gethsemane 2. The enemy fleet is maneuvering for a heavy assault. Prepare yourselves. These new vessels are moving swiftly to engage. The arch heretic shall see my valor and reward me for bringing in the head of Lord Admiral Ravensburg. The only thing Abaddon shall see is your lifeless corpse and the wreckage of your fleet, traitor. Yes, Admiral. Your orders? Awaiting orders. At your command. Awaiting orders. Yes, Admiral. Awaiting orders. Changing course! The entire enemy fleet has been wiped out. This great victory will be remembered in the Imperium for millennia to come. All ships set course for Port Moor. We will repair and resupply there to prepare for our next engagement. The news of our victory has spread quickly throughout the entire Gothic sector. We have many new recruits eager to fight the enemies of the Emperor. This battle cost us dozens of Imperial ships and many worthy captains. However, the victory they fought for gives us strength. The morale of Battlefleet Gothic is vastly improved. All of our men and all of our ships are fighting at their maximum potential. We must preserve the advantage we won in the Battle of Gethsemane. Admiral Spire, your valor was critical in securing the alliance with Eldar Prince Eldrathane. The firepower provided by the Eldar ships gave us a chance to turn the tide. They may be arrogant Xenos, but I must recognize that the Eldar know how to fight. They are skilled warriors, and I have no doubt Abaddon is cursing their intervention.